Let's have a brief intro on room. Now, first of all, what is room? Room is a popular library for Android app development that makes it easier to work with databases. It's like a toolbox for storing and managing data within your app. In simple terms, Room helps you save and retrieve information efficiently like user data settings or any other data your app needs to keep track of. It serves as an abstraction layer over SQLite, the traditional database system used in Android. It simplifies the process of working with databases, making it less complicated and less error prone, which is crucial for app developers. Room database in Android saves data in a local SQLite database on the user's device. Now let's explore the key components that make up Room database. There are three main components. Entity. This defines the structure of our database tables. DAO data access object. These interfaces specify the database operations we can perform. And then we have database. It acts as the central access point to our database. Now let's look at these one by one. Data entity. In room database, a data entity is a plain Kotlin or Java class that represent a single table in the database. Each field in the entity class corresponds to a column in the table and each instance of the class represents a row in the table. Data entities are used to define the schema of the database and specify how data is structured and stored. As we can see, we will have these three entities in our smart study Android application. First entity, we will keep the data related to the subject. Second one for the data related to task. And third one will be the data related to the session. Now let's move on to the next thing. DAO data access objects that provide methods that your app can use to query, update, insert and delete data in the database. Next we have our database class. It holds the database and serves as the main access point for the underlying connection to your app's persisted data. Here we specify all our DAOs and all the entities. Thanks for watching.